Right, hello. Um, I'm just getting the engine put back together on the 47 with a 16 engine. Um, I was going to put the original um, big end bearings back in. Um, they've got a bit of wear on them. This is number six. Uh, they're not too ridged. They're perfectly serviceable. There wasn't too much play in them. But I thought, while I've got it all apart, I might make some uh, improvements. Now, Tim Moore, who lives on the Isle of Skye, he's got a similar car. Um, he found out years ago that some Ford shells are about the right size. Now, they're readily available. I've tracked some down, uh, and they're all there to get. And you can get this is standard size. You can get you know plus twenty, plus forty, etc., or minus twenty, minus forty, whatever the terminology is. Um, so if you have your crank reground, you can find shells that will fit. Um, a few modifications are needed. Obviously, the shells are a little bit narrower than the standard ones, but as it's a different material, longer lasting, that shouldn't really cause an issue. And the CCs of the little Ford engines and these engines are reasonably similar per cylinder. So these engines you know, rev slow, more slowly than the Ford engines, so that shouldn't be an issue really. Um, yeah, if I put the modification next to each other, this one on the right is a completely standard shell from Ford, or from you know the manufacturers. Uh, and this one here is slowly being modified to be able to fit the um, the rover bits and bobs. So where the shell locates uh, just there isn't the same on these. So first job I had to do was to take off just a little slither there to enable the shell to sit centrally within the, uh, the, the big end. So then I needed to widen this area here. So I'll show you what I've just done. Uh, it's on the con rod on the bench in, in the vice. And I've put, let's see if we can get that to focus, a very small, maybe a couple of millimetres saw cut. Well, I marked it first and then a little saw cut down and when I've gone down a couple of millimetres, um, then use just a hard rod and hammered, just tapped that into the recess. So a couple of sharp taps, making sure it's in the right place, locates it, and it's solid, won't move either way now, so that's perfect. Um, so I've got one more to do. This is my final one. This is number six rod. Um, Obviously when you do it you need to make sure there are no burrs or, or raised areas which might cause problems with clearance. Um, and I just run a fine file just over the face just to make sure there's no burrs here and that seems to be all good. Um, so hopefully these are going to make um, the difference of it having to go for a rebuild because if I can get it and you know another... 20-30,000 miles out of it, and it'll last me donkey's years. Um, so, if you're having an engine rebuild, instead of going for the white metal bearings, which obviously you have to have specially made because these are no longer available, you have to have them recast, uh, you might want to upgrade or change to shells, which are just off the shelf. Made of better material, so they'll last longer. I think these are copper lead uh, bearings. Um, so hopefully, that's of use to someone. Take care. Bye.